uh, that storm is showing up. By the way, I don't want to shortchange Jose, but we are a little bit because Jose is staying out to see and moving to the north. We'll talk about Jose in a minute, but this is the big story. So let's get down here and you see these little dots. See that little eye go right over this island right here is Dominica and it probably crushed it. I, when the daylight comes and they get pictures, uh, if they can get anything out of there, it just a category five storm going right over Dominica. Weakened, the mountains weakened it to a four. Big deal, right? And now it's back to a five, and it's heading towards St. Croix and San Juan as a Category 5 storm. So here's how the forecast track looks. 160 mile an hour winds. Remember, Irma was up about here heading St. Martin in the uh, Virgin Islands of the English Virgin Islands, which are behind the end of Virgin Islands. Uh, so this is a little bit further to the south. There's Dominica, took a direct hit, and now it's moving right toward this island, which is one of the Virgin Islands, St. Croix. St. Thomas is up here, St. John's, those are our three, and then the Vir English Virgin Islands are over there, British Virgin Islands, I should say. Then the storm, and this is coming tonight, in the middle of the night, that's why tomorrow morning, at this time, it'll be approaching Puerto Rico, maybe as a Category 4 storm, but still a very major uh, devastating storm. Then it should just, oh, I hope, stay east of the Turks and Caicos. They've been battered from Irma and stay east of the Bahamas. You see it's making this curve, so by Sunday it's down to a, well, it's still a major hurricane, but a little more respectable, 150 mile per hour winds. No chance it's going to hit Florida, and a very good chance it's going to stay out and follow Jose's path. And this is really good news for us along the eastern seaboard and for Bermuda. Here's why that's going to happen. We're going to have high pressure, which you're going to see reflected in the seven-day forecast. Give us a beautiful weekend. This is Sunday's map. There's also going to be high pressure in the middle of the Atlantic. In between, uh, that's where the remnants of Jose will be. It's the path of least resistance. It's low pressure. This is low pressure. So it's going to follow right on its heels. It's, going to, it's not going to try to attack that high or go to that high. It's going to go right in between the two. So as long as those st highs stay there, this storm will not come to us, will not hit Bermuda, and that'll be good news because it's going to and nail uh, parts of Puerto Rico. Here's what Jose is doing, and it's going to behave and then kind of wrap around and hang out as a non tropical low pressure system, which will help keep that trough in place and keep Maria away from us. So we've got some tropical storm force winds possible along Cape Cod, but they're not going to hit our outer banks. Things will improve there.